Welcome back to class, you double OG to the beat, don't stop to get enough shoddy boy. In today's class, we're going to talk about the reason why I started investing and we're going to have a guest speaker for today's class as well. Now, um, I am going to look different once the intro is over because that part was already recorded. It was supposed to be on last week's video, but that would have made the video too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the intro and the outro to this video and everything else. It's going to be pre-recorded, so if I look a little different, that's why. So go ahead and enjoy the video. I'll talk about the reason why I started investing, and I need to take you back to when I was 19 years old. Um, I was a car salesman, and I met this guy there who I made, who's a really good friend. I made him into a really good friend, and I remember one day, he just came up to me and told me if I was interested in learning or just even investing in the stock market. And me personally, I thought you needed to be a millionaire, you know, or have a lot, a lot of money in order to invest into the stock market. So I never really bothered looking into it. And I told them, well, no, because I mean, don't you need to have like a lot of money? And he told me, no. He told me, but this is him talking now. He said, if I were to invest, I'm going to invest when I'm able to lose $3,000 in investing. He said, I'd be really dumb if I invest those $3,000, but I, I'm only going to invest when I'm comfortable losing those $3,000. And I was like, dude, $3,000 is a lot of money. Like, I don't want to invest because that's so much money. You know, I don't want to lose that amount of money. So when he told me that, that scared me, you know, like, I, I didn't want to even look into investing because I was like, dude, I don't want to lose my money. And he didn't know much about it either. So, I mean, he would have conversations with me, but they were very vague, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't really go into much detail. But, I mean, I only lasted as a car salesman for four months. I didn't like it, but it's a different story. Um, once I left, I decided to start looking into investing. And I realized you can literally start investing with a dollar. I was like, dude, like what? You know, I, <laughs> I downloaded um, Robinhood because I had Googled. Um, free brokerage apps and Robinhood was one of the ones recommended and I downloaded it. I think I did that one I think I had done Weeble but I don't remember I think I did E-Trade and the reason I picked Robinhood because um, the platform for it was just a lot easier to maneuver I just really liked the way it looked and then I transferred I believe just $20 into that account and I remember the first one I bought was Twitter because I had looked into Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram I think the only one I had found was Twitter and I remember I bought it, I bought one share and I sold it with, I think it was, I think I had made like 40 cents profit and I was so happy. And then, I mean, to this day, um, I, I thank him every time I see him. I tell him, if it wasn't because of you just telling me if I ever thought about investing, I don't think I would have done it as soon as I did. So, I mean, if you watch this, I don't think he is, but thank you. Like I, I always tell him every time I see him, thank you so much because you pretty much just opened the door for me. So that's pretty much the reason why I started investing. I didn't know anything about it. He opened the door for me. But once I sold that first Twitter share that I had, I thought to myself, what if I would have invested $100 and I bought Twitter, you know, I would have gotten more shares, I would have made more money. And I thought to myself, this could be another source of income for me. So then it just hit me like, I don't just have to rely on my work to get money. Like, work is can be one source of income. And then once I sold the share and I got like 40 cent profit, I said, this could be a second, a second source of income for me. And then I thought to myself, how many more sources of income could I have? So then I started looking more and more into it. I mean, I love doing research when it comes to stuff like this. And I realized that, you know what, my W2, my work could be my main source of income and I could pretty much just feed all the other sources of income that I want. And um, I'm currently doing, starting crypto too. Um, that would be a third source of income for me. Um, looking into real estate, um, but I'm not there yet. You know, I, I have so much to learn before I even decide to like do with that. But yeah, those, um, if everything goes well, are going to be, I know YouTube can be a fifth. I don't know, you know, I do this for fun to try to educate you guys. But if, if it pops off, it pops off, you know, but uh, my W2 is one source of income. Stock market would be two. Crypto would be three. Uh, retail properties, open when I get enough knowledge to start would be a fourth. 
and if and when this YouTube decides to just, you know, when I get more subscribers, I can be a fifth. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know the type of investor that I am. When I had first started, I thought like, all you could do is just buy individual stocks in the stock market. Um, so I was, I started off kind of like a day trader. I started with penny stocks because they were so cheap, right? I said, dude, with like $10, I can buy like a hundred worth of, of these stocks that were like a penny, you know, two pennies. Um, there were really so some really cheap ones. There were some that were like 15 cents, 20 cents. I would buy and sell those um, pretty much every other day. Um, if you do Robinhood, you're only allowed to do three day trades per week. If you decide to do day trading, be careful when you do that because if you do a fourth one within a week, your account gets blocked. So how do you bypass this? Um, the way Robinhood register, registers a day trade is if you buy and sell the same stock the same day, it's a day trade. So what I would do is, let's say Monday I bought a stock, I would just sell it on Tuesday. It's a different day, so it wouldn't count as a day trade, but that's what I would do. I would usually get like like 2 to like $10 profits a day. Like it depends, but my advice to people is don't, do, do not. Do not do penny stocks because you can make a lot of money, you can lose a lot of money. Like for first time investors, please stay away from penny stocks. Anything under $5 or less, I think is considered a penny stock. Please stay away from them. <laughs> so for my first year of investing, I was a day trader. That's what I did. But um, last year and then this year, I, I decided to change my route because I know I'm never going to beat the market, you know. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what I was doing, you know. I was just, I was so quick profits. The reason why I changed my mentality was because I, I think it was last year, a year and a half ago, Tesla was, I think, like at $200. I had bought it at $200 and it went up to, I think it was $400. And I sold it, I made good profit. Um, and then I, I thought it was going to go back down but it just kept going up, up until I think it like reached like $2,000 and I got so pissed because I was like, dude, if I would have held, I would have made so much money. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm just gonna buy and hold my stocks from now on. I did to change my investment mentality was because I started watching Graf Stefan about a year ago. And then just recently I started watching Andre Jick, but I le I do learn a lot from them when it comes to investing. You know, they open the door for me on a lot of topics and then I just do my own research, which is why I'm telling you guys, if you guys find something interesting that I talk about, once this video ends, just go ahead and watch something else in regards to that topic so that you learn more. But um, right now I currently have four investment accounts. So obviously my two retirement accounts are for retirement. You know, I'm just gonna keep funding those up until I retire and then enjoy that money once I'm old. You know? But the two short-term accounts that I have, um, one is with Robinhood obviously, and the other one is to Primerica. The Primerica one is for mutual funds because um, I learned that keep an open mind when it comes to investments. So I, I wanna like try everything and I know I said I have four accounts, but I have five because I recently just opened a crypto account and I'm, I'm learning about it. I haven't, I didn't mention it in this video because I don't know enough about it yet in order to feel comfortable talking about it. But I am going to have, if, I know you're going to watch this, but if my, my friend Ford Fusion decides to um, be in one of these videos, he can teach you guys more about crypto because I am learning from him. But with my two short term accounts is I'm going to keep funding them for the next, I want to say five years and the money that I have there depending um, the type of house that I want. I, I do want it for, um, one of them is gonna be for my first home so I can live in it. And the other one's gonna be for a rental property. So that's, those are my goals for, for those two short-term accounts to you know fund them so they can grow. And for the next five years, um, I'll, depending, like I said, how the market looks and the amount that the house is. Um, I'm gonna take a certain chunk of it out so I can do the down payment for the houses. So I was indecisive if I should have made one of those two accounts. One of them was obviously going to be for the down payment of my first home, but I was indecisive for the other account if it should be for the down payment on a rental property or if I wanted it for my dream car. You know, I was like, which one should it be? But then since I did open up a, a crypto account, um, I think my two short-term accounts for stocks are going to be for the down payment of the houses. And then the crypto one that I do have when I fund it, when I start funding it, is gonna be for my, my dream car. I am gonna make a separate video on 
how I think the smarter way to buy a new car is but um, I'll go ahead and make a new video so totally separate video I'm gonna say the specific names of the stocks that I own but I will go ahead and say the type of stocks that I have if that makes sense so for my 401k and my Roth IRA I do index funds in those um, and my two short-term accounts one of them I do mutual funds and in the other one being Robinhood I do ETFs and I do growth stocks and then well, obviously and then I do crypto so that's how I'm pretty much distributing my money and I hope this was beneficial to you guys but then now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the, the guest speaker for today so we're gonna go all the way to that side of the hey what's up guys it's Roberto so I'll be talking to you guys a little bit about the, the type of investor I am so I consider myself a short-term and a long-term investor I actually started when I was 18 and not because I wanted to but because of my sister she's the one that was telling me like hey you need to invest you need to invest so I started investing $50 just $50 every single month I didn't know what I was investing on I didn't know anything about it not until when I was 22 23 when I got introduced to the rule 72 that's one of the videos that we did me and my cousin I realized that the rate of return they were giving me my money wasn't growing the way that I thought it was actually growing in a bank so I started to listen a little bit more to my sister and that's when she explained to me like hey look this is how it is and those $50 that I told you guys earlier it was in a Roth IRA so then when she explained to me a lot more and I feel like at that age I was willing to listen more and actually get that information I invested more a lot I invested more on in my Roth IRA and then I opened a short-term account and then ever since then I've been just focusing on that every time I have extra money I try to increase it or I also do other types of investments and my sister asked me this question that stuck to me and she asked me have you ever thought about what age you really want to retire and right away I was like well I don't want to work so many years and then retire with a little bit of money or not enough money that I have to go back to work so that's how that started and with my Roth IRA I do investments and mutual funds other than a Roth IRA I also have two other short-term accounts one I opened it at the age of 19 with the guidance of my sister that's also being invested in mutual funds and the other one that I have I opened it last year of 2019 and that's through Robinhood it is a free app and how that started it was because one of my friends told me about it and based on the type of investor that you are you could be a short term or long term depending on what exactly you really want to get out of it that's <laughs> nah, you're gonna put and going back to the reason why I opened the Robinhood account was because I wanted to get more familiarized with the New York Stock Exchange and how it works also with day trading and the ultimate goal with this account is to build another source of income and with this account, I focus more on growth stocks. Perfect, homeboy. And I do grow stocks because it's interesting to me and I enjoy it and I want to make money off of it. And like I said earlier, I want this Robinhood account to be another source of income for me. Just want to say thank you guys for taking the time to see our videos. Hopefully they've been working out. But with this video, I really do hope that you guys think a little bit more about maybe investing or if you guys are already investing maybe you want to invest a lot more and if you guys do or if you guys have questions concerns comments please let us know and we'll do our best we can to guide you guys thanks a lot guys have a good one so i hope you guys enjoyed the guest speaker you know i um, hope you guys enjoyed the reason why me and him started investing and then just to reiterate i'm going to say this in other videos um I am not a licensed professional. I do this for fun because I enjoy doing YouTube videos. You know, I'm just a guy behind the camera, so this is not financial advice. But I feel I need to be more strict, or well, because I have, yeah, I have to be more strict because I haven't been assigning homework or classwork to you guys. So, starting next video, I will be assigning classwork in the middle of the videos. But for today's homework, that is to play heads up seven up with the like button and to share this video to at least one other person. 
and I'll see you guys in the next class. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. Today's bar of the day is going to be by Crooked Eye and that's um, Eminem's negative picture, the black goat. Now give me a bag of chips so I can dip.